Hello again, I'm Jason and in this part 4 tutorial on the dedicated Windows Counter-Strike Source Server I'm going to show you how to install Source Mod and MetaMod on your game server. Some of you may be familiar with something called Manny Admin Plugin which was an easy to use feature rich menu driven server administration tool for games based on the Source Engine from Valve. Even though it's still possible to install Manny Admin Plugin, it's no longer supported or being developed, so there's not much point in me showing you how to configure it. The new kid on the block is SourceMod. SourceMod is a server modification for any game that runs on the Half-Life 2 engine. It's a powerful, highly optimised platform for scripting plugins and handling server administration. The default package comes with a base set of plugins, but there are over 2,500 plugins in the community to use. But in order for SourceMod to work on your game server, you'll also need to install MetaMod. What's MetaMod, I hear you ask? Well, MetaMod is a plugin interface for Half-Life modifications that is located between the Half-Life game engine and the Half-Life mod, providing the dynamic loading and unloading of DLL or dynamic link library plugins to add or remove extra functions to or from the game server. Well, I'm glad I got that boring stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and install MetaMod and SourceMod. So here we are on my game server desktop and the first thing I'm going to do is open up a browser window. So let's open up Internet Explorer and I'm going to search for source meta mod and it's at the top of the list here source mm.net so let's click on that. Don't worry if you miss some of these URLs because I will be adding them in the comments below this video. I'm going to choose the Windows option here because if you've been following my previous videos I have a Steam CMD Windows dedicated Counter-Strike Source server. So let's choose Windows and let's grab it from the closest place to me which I guess will probably be the Netherlands and I'll save as and let's just put it on our desktop for now. We also need to select here make your VDF. So I'm going to click that and in the game section up here if you drop down the list it depends on what game you're currently uh, running on your server as we know I'm running Counter-Strike Source so I'm going to choose Counter-Strike Source. I can leave the game folder blank uh, I just need to click this button generate metamod.vdf and again I'm going to select save as and we'll just save that to the desktop as well. What are VDF files? Well, VDF files are for gameplay experience such as 3D models, characters and world data. Okay, so far so good, fairly easy. So the next step is source mod, which we can get by going to www.sourcemod.net. So up here on the left under downloads we see releases, so let's click on releases. And what we're looking for here is the full package for Windows. Notice here it says source mod requires metamod. So we've already got that previously. So I'm going to choose the source mod 1.5.2 Windows zip. And again, I guess we'll get it from the Netherlands. And we'll save as and we'll put it on the desktop again. Okay, good, let's close this browser window now. So we can see I have a zip file here, I have a VDF, and I have my source mod zip file as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on my metamod and I'm gonna extract all, and we'll just extract it exactly where it is. Okay, let's put that folder over there and we'll right click and extract our source mod as well. Okay, that took longer than I thought it would. Hopefully it will be quicker for you guys when you do it. Um, Okay, so let's close that. So we now have our two unzip folders there. Right, I'm going to right click, I'm going to create a new folder and for now I'm just going to call it CSS 
server and I'm going to open my metamod folder here and I'm going to right click and cut and I'm going to put it in my newly created folder there and I'm going to do the same with my source mod so let's choose the add-ons and CFG cut and paste and I want to merge this so I say yes um, and then the last thing to do is go into the add-ons folder and in here it already seems to have a metamod.vdf well I created mine for Counter-Strike Source so I'm going to copy mine in there I'm going to replace it so there we have all the files and the folders that we need let's take a quick look at the VDF file so if I right click and I'm going to say edit with notepad plus plus by the way notepad plus plus is free to download and use or you could just use notepad or even wordpad so when we open this it sort of points to a plugin file under the directory C strike add-ons metamod bin and server so let's just make sure that actually exists in our file structure obviously we haven't copied it into our game server yet but if I go back one level we have add-ons metamod bin and here it says server and there it is down the bottom there server.dll so we now just need to do one more thing with source mod which is to configure our first admin and we can do this by going back to add-ons going into source mod and configs and it's a file here called admins underscore simple dot ini so if I right click and edit with notepad plus plus and let's just expand this a little bit so you can see more of the information and instructions here it gives us examples of how to configure admins but in a nutshell we just need to enter the steam ID and the privileges that we want to associate with the admin on the server so if I just scroll down the bottom here I've already got something ready uh, to paste in here so here anything indicated with uh, forward slashes is going to be ignored so these are just comments for my own benefit so we can see there that I've written a, a title of main root admins and then underneath I've written my name and then under that my steam ID and then the next thing along there indicated in double quotes is 99 which if you look above at the examples that gives me the rights or all permissions for this IP and my immunity value is 99 which is the highest you can have and then the steam ID below it which is one less which means he can't do nasty things to me but I can still do nasty things to him if I wish and then we've got other admins which are friends which again I've decided to give those particular rights to and what you notice down the bottom here is I've written another title that says website lists of all admin rights below and it's it's good it's a good idea to take note of that URL because that particular URL if I actually paste it in a browser window you'll see why it's quite handy to have it's a wiki on everything you need to know about adding admins to source mod so it gives you a breakdown of each letter level etc etc the immunity passwords etc so it's handy to have and I've just included that in my own document down the bottom there to refer to if I ever have to come back in here and change anything so that's all that I need to do um, obviously I would need to save this file and we'll close that and now if I go into my game server folder itself which if you remember I made a folder called C strike and inside here I have the C strike subfolder and as you can see I've already done this previously so there's no need to do it again but basically what I would normally do or what you would do is open up your CSS server folder that you've created earlier and all you're going to need to do is copy those two and paste 
straight into the root of your C strike folder. As I said before, I don't need to do this because I've already done it. So let's test it out just to make sure source mod works. And the way we can do this is if I fire up my source, my Counter Strike source server, and in the console window here down the bottom, if I just type meta space list and then press enter we can see that I have source mod 1.5.2 installed and working. So I'm going to switch back now, That's now the server's up and running, I'm going to switch back to my desktop and I'm going to run Counter-Strike Source. We'll find my server. There it is. And we'll connect to it. And then once you're in the game, what you can do is just simply open up your console window and type sm underscore admin and press enter and we'll quit our console window and you should see over on the left hand side your admin menu and you can see there you've got player commands, server commands and voting commands and that's all there is to it I hope you found this tutorial useful thanks for watching